Hello and welcome to E Prime. I am Kalia filling in for Adrian. Coffee being interviewed at Miami Airport. Reports reaching E Prime is that the Grammy winning artist was involved in a dispute on American Airlines this afternoon. Eyewitness says Coffee attempted to use the bathroom in first class but was refused entry and proceeded to get boisterous. The source who was on the flight alleged that Coffee also refused to take her seat, prevented the plane from landing in accordance with international aviation law and further had an altercation with a stewardess. Eyewitness says on landing, U.S. officials were on hand to process the artist. Now, E-Prime reached out to Coffee's management team for a statement. However, upon news time, there was no response. The American Airlines flight left Kingston at 11.12 a.m. and would normally arrive at approximately 1.40 p.m. However, the flight information displayed on the Miami International Airport website and the American Airlines website both say the flight arrived at 2.10 p.m. Marshall Montana to make his return to Jamaica with his full band. The King of Soca is set to perform on Carnival Saturday at the inaugural staging of WeFet. Organizers held the official press conference for WeFet this morning, which saw Michelle Montana himself speaking to the collaboration with Jamaica and Carnival across the Caribbean. And I'm really happy here today to bring people together, the whole Caribbean. You know, crop over, have their thing, Barbados style. Trinidad have a carnival, their style. But Byron Lee did something where he worked with Trinidad and he brought his carnival here and there's some things about this carnival that I wish we could integrate in Trinidad Carnival. There are some things about, you know, dance or music as the minister rightfully said, I took and I put into Soka when I work with Shaggy and Red Rat and Beanie Man and you name it. Marshall told E-Prime directly about his return to Jamaica with his full band after so many years. Doing a show here in Jamaica with my live band and my dancers, which is what we call full concert mode. I haven't done that in eight years. The last one was in 2015. So of course I'm grateful for partnering with We, we Pay, who is making it happen. But also at the same time, not just financially, but on a broader level of how do we enhance the experience of Carnival in Jamaica. Director of WeFed, Kibwe Magon, shared all the event details. It's critical at this time that we promote this because it has to be about unity and we have to change how we think and what entertainment is. And that is where we fed came from, that we energy. Minister of Entertainment Olivia Grange endorsed we fed and its initiative and added her voice to the call for union in the industry across the Caribbean. I think that the more we link up in the region, the more powerful we will be in what we have to offer the world. I look forward to Carnival in Jamaica this year to be the best ever. Carnival is one of the Caribbean's biggest cultural sub-economic. Trinidad Carnival sees tourists spending in the region of $1 billion, where Jamaica's industry is still an untapped gold mine, despite the billions contributed pre-COVID. I'm Kalia reporting for E-Prime.